During a Q&A session with the Aspen Institute last week, Republican lawmaker Liz Cheney said that her father, Dick Cheney, former vice president of the United States during the Bush administration, is worried. He's worried about the country. He's worried about the direction of the Republican party. He's worried, she says, about the damage that Donald Trump caused to this country. He's not happy with the direction the country's going in. Thanks to Trump. He, Trump. He's not happy with the direction the Republican party is going in. And to that, I have to say, boo fricking who Mr. Warmonger, maybe you shouldn't have helped put America on this path. I'm not going to take Dick Cheney's side on anything here. He's right. I will say that the Republican party is going on a dangerous path, but that is the only area where he and I actually agree because see, he omits the fact, and we've pointed this out plenty of times in the past that he helped get us here. Now you want to go even further back. Obviously you got to talk about Nixon, Reagan. This has been a long, slow March for the Republican party. Trump just basically picked it up from a slow march to a jog down the wrong path. But Dick Cheney, George W. Bush, Donald Rumsfeld, Paul Wolfowitz, the whole gaggle of idiots from that Bush administration that helped push us into these seemingly endless and definitely unwinnable wars in the Middle East that resulted in thousands upon thousands of American soldiers coming back in flag draped coffins. Yeah, I'd say that played a pretty damn big role of putting us on this path. And do you know why? Because you put the era of fact free politics on steroids. You pushed baseless lies about the Iraqi government having weapons of mass destruction. You let Osama bin Laden slip through your fingers eight years unable to do anything because you didn't really care. And Bush himself said, I don't spend a lot of time thinking about bin Laden. Yeah. We know what you were after. You were after all that sweet, sweet oil in Iraq and you would do anything to get your dirty, grubby little friend shooting hands on it. And that's what happened. But your lies, the misinformation, that your administration sold to the public showed the entire country that it's okay for politicians to lie, to get what they want. Now, don't get me wrong. Politicians have always, and will always lie. But what we saw during the Bush administration from people like Dick Cheney was different. Those were lies, not just a lie to win an election, not just a, I never had relations with that woman. No, not lies of personal interest. Lies that killed people. Incompetence during things like Hurricane Katrina, that killed people. You put us on this path, Dick Cheney. So don't you dare open your mouth about, oh, what have the Republicans become? They've become what you push them towards what your daughter, Liz Cheney has pushed them towards. I mean, hell, I know Liz likes to talk a big game about being an anti-Trump Republican, but she voted with him and her fellow Republicans. You know what? 90% of the time, I think it was maybe more voted against a stimulus package earlier this year, along with all of the other Republicans in the federal government right now, every one of them, there's no good ones, folks. There's just some that are less bad. But Dick Cheney is not one of those less bad people. Do not let him rewrite his history. Do not embrace him as a fellow comrade in the resistance because he ain't it. He is a scumbag, a warmongering scumbag and may history forever remember him as such.